leukemia is the most common childhood cancer, affecting approximately 4,000 American children every year. And in today's HealthCast, Local 10 Medical Specialist Christy Kruger has the story of a six-year-old Deerfield Beach boy who is battling an aggressive form of leukemia. When it comes to playing games, Rocco Passaro seems like any other child his age. And he was, until the summer of 2021. He was your average five-year-old, very intelligent, eager to go to school, eager to play, and, you know, life was just simpler back then. <laughs> It became extraordinarily complicated in June when Rocco was diagnosed with B lymphoblastic leukemia. Although he failed the first round of chemotherapy, he did beat the odds and was deemed cancer free in the fall of last year. Then after months of ups and downs in September of this year, Rocco relapsed. Things have happened to him that science can't explain. Dr. Iftikhar Hanif, Chief of the Center of Cancer and Blood Disorders at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital is the head of Rocco's medical team. So Rocco um, presented with a very high white cell count. So he was high risk leukemia to start with. Since he was high risk, we were trying some new medicines and we gave him one of the new medicines that is called inotuzumab. And he tolerated that medicine, but after that he developed a lot of complications. Now, the only chance for long-term survival is a bone marrow transplant. And while science is progressing, and we hope that in between now and transplant, something else will come up, ultimately, that is the most researched method of survival for a child like Rocco and his type of leukemia. I need to know that I've done everything in this world to save him. With your HealthCast, I'm Christy Krueger. Mm. And the family is looking for a bone marrow match, not only for Rocco, but with hopes of raising awareness throughout the community and help other children in need of a bone marrow transplant. To find out more, look for this story in the health section of Local10.com.